welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made these tall floor candle holders using some Dollar Tree items. Let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be using 7 of these glass candle holders and 5 of these decorative balls from Dollar Tree. After removing the label, I am going to glue the decorative ball to my candlestick using E6000 glue. You want to make sure to center the ball on the candlestick. I am going to continue to glue the rest of the decorative balls onto the candlesticks the same way. Once I finish gluing on the decorative balls, I let the glue dry for about 2 hours before continuing to work on the rest of the project. After the glue had dried for a while, I glued one of the candlesticks on top of the decorative ball. Once again, you want to make sure to center the design to make sure that your candle holder is going up nice and straight. And I repeated the same process with the second candle holder. Then I let the glue dry for a while before I continued to work on my design. Once that had dried for a while, I continued to glue the rest of the pieces onto my design. After I finished gluing everything together, I let my project dry overnight before continuing to work on it. After each addition, I made sure to clean the excess glue that might have dripped. The next day, I took my project outside and spray painted it white using this Rust-Oleum Gloss White Spray Paint. To give my candle holders a larger base and a little bit more of stability, I'm going to be using some of these circle coasters from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be gluing it on the bottom of the candlestick. I forgot to record, but I did remove the tabs on the bottom of each coaster to make them more stable. After I center the candle holder on the mirror, I wipe off any excess glue. And I do the same thing with the other candle holder. I let the glue dry for about an hour before I continue to work on my design. Now I'm going to be using this diamond bling wrap to decorate my candle holder. I had already cut it into a strip to fit around this area of the candle holder. And I am just going to hot glue it in place. I decorated all of the candlesticks the same way. Then I cut a long strip of diamond mesh ribbon to go around the base of each candlestick. Then I cut smaller strips of diamond mesh ribbon to go down the lines of each candlestick.
Now I'm going to use some of this flower mesh rhinestone ribbon to decorate my candle holder. I cut out the flowers from the bling wrap. I glued one flower on the bottom of each section of the candlesticks. Then I glued one flower on each indentation of the decorative ball. Once I was done decorating my candle holders, I used my blow dryer to clean off any excess glue. Now I'm going to take two of these flare bases from Dollar Tree and I'm going to decorate them with this diamond mesh ribbon as well. I measured the ribbon around the base and cut it to size. I also trimmed down the width of it. I am also going to use the flower mesh ribbon and I measure it around my base. I cut the diamond mesh ribbon to size and into strips of two. Then I just hot glue the pieces around my base. Once I was done decorating my bases, I used E6000 to glue them onto my candle holders. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Another idea is to turn this base into a lamp. All you need is a lampshade and a circle foam board cutout and four push LED lights. You would want to glue the lampshade down here, I am just placing it on top to show you. Then you just place the circle foam board on top and your lamp is ready. For a more budget friendly idea, you can get some LED push lights from Dollar Tree. To make your lamp easier to use, you can always get the remote controlled LED lights.